I'm Kenneth Lim. I'm from the National Institute of uh, Education in Singapore. I'm a research scientist and uh, I work with a team of uh, five people. We've been working with schools around Singapore since 2009 and our work is primarily to help teachers understand the intuitions which the students bring to their classroom and to their learning environments. It's a very privileged um, experience because when Dr. Lim first came and asked would you like to be on this open scene project, I was very intrigued by what he shared about the six learning frameworks. I thought that was really bringing ICT into the classroom, bringing learning to another dimension. So with that in mind, I'm also thinking about the master plan for, you know, we're talking about future ready students and Singaporeans, we are talking about a smart nation. So that kind of like, it just ties in nicely with what we plan to do. As we go about the process of going around to explore, in the process of building up their design, they sort of discover that certain things don't happen what they thought, and this is discovered by them. Where else in the past, all these are being pointed out by the teacher. In the whole philosophy behind the six learning framework is called the design iteration. So they discover it and, and learn it through themselves and they will hold this information better. If you draw 2D, it's a lot harder to see because if you are bad at drawing like me, it takes a lot of time but in 3D you just create it, just change the shape a bit and you can move around and see the sides. So far through this project, we have seen our students' uh, growth in uh, 21st century competencies has really built their confidence and the contextual learning, learning things that they are familiar with outside the classroom, uh, I think has been very useful in helping them to be interested in the lessons. It's a joy to see them applying what they learn, putting into context um, whatever they learn in art into some other subjects. Technology is very relevant to our lives because it can be applied to our other subjects such as geography. Other subjects require drawings. For example, in our school, we have geography students have to do a geography investigation project every single year. And this requires the need of few sketches that helps us in our research and our reports and presentations. So instead of using pencils to draw our few sketches, we can use these technologies to actually help to represent our ideas better. Beyond that, it was really the idea of the teachers having great support from NIE. In this whole exercise, the Dr. Kenneth Lim and his team has always been coming down, talking to the teachers during lesson, before lesson, after lesson, and often there's a lot of discussion, a lot of reflective practices are happening. So that is a lot of deep learning that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. 